Okay, we have uh, two uh, talks in the session. The first speaker, uh, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, every uh, speaker will be given a 20 minutes for the talk, uh, followed by a 10 minutes time for discussion. Uh, the first bell rings uh, uh, when the 50 minutes have passed, and uh, the second bell, we should try to uh, do, do it. <coughs> so the first these speakers are Junior and Koi Shimamura, and the title is to be cancelled or not to be cancelled. Considering the pole position in the dated organization experimental experiment. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, so let's get started. Um, so the purpose of this talks a talk are uh, two. <coughs> uh, so there are two things. So the, the first uh, to consider the data of donations through the lens of ac acceptability judgment experiments regarding the causal position and settlement. And second one is the uh, so to put forth an idea to motivate the DA by incorporating cognitive grammarian perspectives uh, while downsizing the label of syntax. And unfortunately, we have a uh, little syntax and no formal semantics to offer, but I, I would like to share some new findings about the uh, data uh, regarding the data of donation, okay? So uh, as you know, uh, dative ordination is something like one. So in one A, we have a double object construction. So John gave, sent, sold, showed, Mary a book. And this corresponding prepositional object construction is one B. So John gave, sent, uh, sold, uh, showed a book to Mary. Right? So we have uh, various kinds of verbs uh, in this ordination. Okay. Uh, so uh, in syntax, uh, we have at least two approaches. Uh, so one is derivational and the other is non-derivational. So a famously deriv derivational approach is represented by Baker uh, 1988 or uh, Larson 1988. So these uh, guys, uh, these uh, researchers argue that the uh, uh, PO is the base and DO is derived. And it, the opposite is true for Holman 2015. Uh, for non-derivational mm -hmm. approach uh, is advocated by Beck and Johnson 2004 or Harley uh, 2002. Uh, so DO, not PO, is sometimes argued to accompany the code's possession interpretation. So if the code's possession interpretation is one of the hallmarks of DO, the question for derivational approach is why the structural change uh, feed into a breed such an, uh, I mean, the uh, code's possession interpretation. And uh, uh, so, uh, so the, uh, also the question for the non-derivation approach is what kind of structure, uh, syntactic structure is responsible for such an interpretation, namely the cause position interpretation. Maybe the uh, easy way to go is to apply uh, to by uh, Harley's half head. Uh, so to, uh, Harley 2002 argue that there is an, a, a syntactic head that uh, signifies the position relation, which is uh, given as half, as we will see, okay? Um, so uh, in a previous study, uh, we argue that both DO and PO are constructed with the same syntactic items. We will not discuss this, but uh, uh, what is important is that the, uh, we don't assume there is a syntactic head that is responsible for the cause of possession interpretation. Uh, our syntactic analysis of DA uh, uh, renders both the semantics of DO and that of PO propositionally symmetrical. symmetrical. Uh, interpretational, interpretational disparities between DO and PO, including the presence or absence of the causal expression, are uh, evoked when the structure sent to an a CI interface. Uh, uh, and uh, so, uh, and we do that by consulting the uh, speaker's encyclopedic or you know, pragmatic knowledge. Okay. Okay, so uh, what's new about this presentation is the following. So, the Basilico 2008 observes that the inanimate subjects uh, force the DO frame to be accompanied by the uh, cause possession construal, even for non-give type uh, verbs. So not uh, give type verbs are uh, uh, very famous uh, uh, for uh, obligatory cause possession interpretation, which is reported by uh, Rappaport and uh, Levin. But uh, non-give type verbs like throw, uh, send, for these verbs are uh, okay with the cancellation of cause possession, but if we have an inanimate subject uh, like two, uh, cancellation of the relevant interpretation is impossible, okay? So that's the question we want to ask in this presentation. Uh, also, uh, Pesetsky and other, among others, observes that the inanimate subject do not match up the PO, the PO frame, so the inanimate subject must go with the DO frame, 
but uh, we will question that later, okay? Um, okay, so uh, as I said, uh, uh, we have uh, two, at least two approaches uh, in syntax. So for example, uh, Baker's uh, prepositional incorporation analysis is given in four. So in four, we have a PP goal, but this P uh, incorporates head moves into the above head and we get the DO frame, okay? And this P incorporated be sometimes morphologically realized as a, a, a applicative head, like in languages like uh, Chewa, okay? Uh, but the question is, so if the, uh, these two constructions are derivationally uh, intertwined, then uh, why, the, on, why only the DO uh, accompanies the uh, uh, cause of position, obligatory cause of position is a question, right? Um, so the other way to go, as I said, is non-derivational approach. And uh, for example, Harley argued that there is a syntactic head that is rep uh, represented as head. So, okay, so in five, uh, we have a double object construction. And in this construction, we have, well, well we have have, P have. So, well, well, setting aside the category of have, but we have have here. But not for in, uh, not for six prepositional object doesn't have this have head, so that's why we don't have the code. We don't have a cause cause possession interpretation in a in in, in six, but uh, uh, in five. Okay. Um, as we will see, uh, the your frame uh, does not always uh, give rise to the cause possession interpretation, but if, uh, to the extent that we buy Harley's analysis, we have to have it all the time, right? So that's the question. Okay. Yeah. And uh, there are various cognitive or the plag plagmatic factors influencing the choice of DOC and PDC constructions other than syntactic structures. But uh, the concept of possession is used in the cognitive linguistic ex explanations as well as in generative grammars. And for example, both Laneke and Pinker argued that. The dative alternation in the case of figure ground alternation uh, of caused motion or caused position. In both PDC and DOC, the agent gets the most attention as a trajectory. Um, but in PDC, the mover is focused on landmark, uh, focused as landmark. And in DOC, the recipient is focused instead. And uh, for example, these are the uh, conceptual schema of the PDC and DOC by Laneke. As for the uh, sentences like, I sent a warras to the zoo and I sent the zoo a warras. And in here, the small circles in the, in the figures represent Bill, Joyce, and warras. And the large circle represent the region controlled by Bill and Joyce. <clears throat> And heavy lines in, uh, in indicate a certain degree of relative prominence here. And uh, in the example A, uh, preposition to designate the past followed by the words, but in the example B, the past is absent and thus uh, interaction of tragic and landmark, namely Bill and Joyce, become prominent. And consequently, the Joyce possession of, uh, is indicated as figure B. And then uh, as the uh, example A to illustrate, the DO is acceptable, but no, uh, PO is not acceptable because uh, a headache does not actually move. And rather uh, the intended, intended meaning here is the recipient possesses a headache so the post position also plays an important role in the cognitive grammar when analyzing uh, data automation. <clears throat> so uh, in fact, there are observations in the literature that the cause position in DO does not always hold. Uh, so uh, for example, uh, Rebin, uh, Rappaport and Levin uh, uh, observed that, that so irrespective of DO or PM frame, uh, the cause of possession is present or absent depending on the choice of the verb or DA. Okay. So, uh, so some data from uh, Rappaport and Rebin are given in 9, 10, and 11. 
So in nine, uh, we have uh, what they call give type verbs. So give, uh, lend, and loan. So these verbs are not compatible with the, cause of, uh, the cancellation of the cause of possession, uh, whether you have a PO or a DO frame. But uh, uh, when we have uh, verbs like spend, as in 11, then we can get the cancellation. It's okay to have a cancellation, even if we have a PO or DO frame. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, uh, this is the results of the previous study in the Shimam, uh, Shimamura in 2022. And we have attempted to experimentally test uh, these multiple hypotheses. And we recruited 100 participants to speak English as a first language. And we assessed the acceptability of DDC and DOC sentences and with cancellation. And uh, uh, we statistically tested the effects of the construction type, namely PDC and DOC construction, and verb types and uh, with or without cancellation uh, and their interactions. So the results show that all effects, all main effects are significant, but interaction of cancellation and uh, uh, construction types was not so uh, not significant. This means that the cancellation degrades acceptability of both PDC and DOC. And this contradicts the hypothesis that only DOC has a possession. And uh, yeah, this is the acceptability of each sentence type. Um, the left figure is the acceptability of the sentence without cancellation. And the right is that with cancellation, with cancellation. And as can be seen, the effect of cancellation varied greatly depending on the verb, uh, but there was no evidence of cancellation effect either, uh, with either PDC or DOC alone. So both are declined. And so uh, all things considered, we argue that uh, uh, PDC represents, represents transfer and DOC implies interaction between tragic and landmark, but the DOC uh, does not necessarily imply the uh, possession. Okay, so uh, what we contend in a previous study, Ashmore and Scott 2022, is that the DO should be uh, understood in terms of cognitive or pragmatic factors such as salience, attention, and uh, attention shift, and uh, information structure. So these kinds of uh, cognitive uh, or pragmatic processes are done after cons uh, constructing the structure in a narrow syntax, uh, namely after spell out. Uh, therefore, it can be considered that they uh, consult the uh, conventionalized or uh, encyclopedic knowledge of each language user. And uh, relevant to this, uh, Bondo 2014 argued that the argument structure, even argument structure, is also part of the uh, conventionalized or encyclopedic knowledge. So uh, then if we downsize the uh, semantics to this level, so syntax is just the constructing a structure and sending us uh, 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 constructed structure into the interface and everything happens after, you know, after the uh, sending the structure to the interface, then we have to think about what kind of encyclopedia or conventionalized uh, knowledge we have. That's the question. And I would like to ask cognitive grammar to do that job. Okay, that's the one way, you know, we can collaborate as the generative grammarians can collaborate with cognitive linguists. That's my hope. Okay. Okay, uh, so uh, the current study focuses on the uh, acceptability of the inanimate subject construction, inanimate subject sentences. And uh, the present study also conducted the acceptability judgment task again. And we asked 100 participants to judge inanimate subject sentences with five point scale uh, through Amazon Mechanical Park. And the target sentences were consisted following conditions here and uh, uh, half DOC and half PDC, and also half with cancellation and half with, uh, without cancellation. And uh, we submitted the data to linear mixed effect modeling and tested these main effects and uh, their interactions. And the acceptance rates 
individual sentences are further examined by base factor and based on 95% credible intervals. And the results show that uh, both fixed effects were significant, only the simple sentences, means, which means that without cancellation, uh, show the uh, more uh, higher accuracy rate uh, than the sentences with cancellation. And P PDC sentences, uh, PO sentences are uh, showed a uh, higher acceptance rate than DO sentences. And interaction was also significant, namely the simple, uh, in the simple sentences that we, without cancellation, the DO showed the uh, uh, higher accuracy rate than P PO. And the uh, uh, DOC and PDC dropped to the same or similar level of acceptability. <laughs> And uh, this is the uh, analysis of the individual verbs. And uh, individual verbs showed a variety of results. Uh, whether PDC or DOC is more acceptable varies considerably from verb to verb. And for example, given green showed that PDC is more acceptable than DOC, but tell and teach showed that DOC is clearly more acceptable. And however, with cancellation, the, cancel, uh, the acceptance rate drops to the similar level regardless of the verb. So to recap the uh, differences of acceptability between DOC and PDC with the animate subject depend on the verb. And when cancellation was added, both construction tended to be less acceptable. And uh, so here, uh, Okay, so here's figure and ground alternation between action results in the con uh, construal of meaning expressed by the sentence. Uh, this is what I, uh, what we want to argue. So for example, you gave me 1981, I uh, mentioned that inanimate subjects are more acceptable when action by inanimate subject is not in the foreground. And also Goldberg mentioned that uh, originality is diminished in the animate subject and construction. And okay, so uh, if the, uh, uh, the the structures that uh, the narrow syntax make makes uh, 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 important to read the, the each you know meaning, uh, how does syntax syntax encode the difference between action and result? That's the next question. And uh, so this is just in the beginning. So I just want I just want to share my you know uh, you know hope. <laughs> I don't know. But one poss one possibility is to go uh, for the is to go for a three layered syntax of the verbal domain, and uh, uh, assuming that the uh, voice uh, encodes agent and the little v encodes co causer then we can uh, think about the possibility of 12. So in 12a, we have voice and little v, so we have Asian and cause. In this case, we have an animate subject, but for in animate subject, uh, we have 12b, so there is no voice and only the causer. So these uh, structural differences may impact on the interpretation on the, in the CI interface. Uh, maybe we have to do some syntactic tests or diagnostics, but uh, that's, our hunch at this moment. Uh, yeah. Okay, and if it is true, we can hypothesize that uh, inanimate subjects draw interpretations attention on result rather than action. And the inanimate subject could be less compatible with cancellation of the result of the event. And uh, this could reduce the acceptability of the sentences regardless of the type of construction, namely D and PO. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, as a summary of this discussion, uh, okay, a degree of acceptance of a dative alternator is continuous. So whether the sentence, a sentence implies possession depends on the meaning of sentence that is influenced by various factors. Uh, so uh, the sum of the factors we found are the meaning that the event the verb represents and the focus of the uh, the action or result. So, yeah, this is the summary of this discussion. Thank you very much.
Okay, now the time for discussion. Is there any question? Okay, uh, thank you very much for an interesting talk. Uh, my question is just a clarification okay. question about your experiment. So you use a verb like uh, teach or uh, not give and receive verbs as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So my question is, what kind of sentence did you use for the cancellation? Uh, so it's not kind of put, yeah. yeah, it's a you know, position relation. For yes. Example, or teach or something like that. Some yeah. some of the sentences is uh, like this. Uh, those heavy, those heavy pressures. Well, but we didn't get a nice flower this May, so this is the cancellation. Okay, so the for the for the teach, for uh, example, uh, so what kind of? The, for example, this book, this book taught English to Mary or someone, but but, uh, but she didn't learn anything at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay. That was my question because um, that kind of, I mean, um, that is not kind of possession per se, I would say. So since your the title of this talk was included in possession, mm -hmm. uh, I, I would wonder uh, if we can treat that kind of possession and that kind of Kind oh, of so possession covers you know, physical possession and uh, kind of metaphorical. Also, metaphorical. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 But uh, the learner may may not, okay. Yeah. So is it is it cancellation? Because I I taught him English, but uh, he. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This is quite metaphorical. And, yeah. yeah. The interpret. Yeah, but uh, for example, Pinker nineteen eighty nine said this is a kind of possession, and it is hard to cancel the. Even when the uh, anime subject is in this sentence, so yeah, so it is no translation. You, you think it is not translation? Even the learner didn't learn. Even didn't learn. Learn. Oh, uh, well, but the literature says that, well, like Pinker says that, uh, yeah, so when we have a deal frame, uh, so I told Taro English, mm -hmm. and he didn't learn anything. That's According to him, that's bad. But uh, our study found that it's okay, and other studies also found it's okay. But when we have an inanimate subject, uh, it's said that it's very okay. difficult to cancel the yeah. So we cannot say, you know, uh, you know, he didn't learn anything. But, uh, you know, that's what we found yeah. for this experiment. Right. So. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's kind of controversial. <laughs> yeah, right. thank you very much. Yeah. And, and it depends. It depends on which language you are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, here, I'm not very sure, but uh, in Chinese they can say mm -hmm. he killed a cockroach. Yeah, but yeah. it is a lie. <laughs> the, the same for Japanese. Yeah, but uh, really? yeah. So uh, not not Japanese, but he 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 closed the door. So door was shimeta ga Yeah, yeah, that seems okay. Yeah, yeah but yeah, this okay. construction requires the uh, agent to be. And the subject must be agent. Mm -hmm. So if it's colder, that's impossible. So kazega doa, so the window, strong wind closed the door, and uh, it was not closed. That's impossible. So kaze mm -hmm. So it said it's bad. So I think the agentivity or volitionality is relevant for this structure. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends on the verb and it depends on the individual language. Yeah. And the uh, so our our result also showed that uh, it depends on the a verb, the whether it is acceptable or not acceptable. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we found here is the 
uh, cancellation regulate the acceptability uh, at the similar level. So yeah, this is kind of new. The, yeah, it depends on yeah these factors. So yeah, what we want to say to syntacticians, you know, only syntax people, that you know, you know, be careful when do this construction and study this mm -hmm. because there are many people syntacticians who assume that the have had the or how they assume this half. So let's have let's have half. That's not so. It's it's not so simple. But yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Oh, yeah. This is this is not a good question. So if you have the better question than the area. Uh, uh, my question is about the contrast between two, three, and four. Uh, it's a two, three, and four in that sentences. Oh, okay. I'll just show you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two, three, but, uh, two. Uh, no, no, it's uh, I'm sorry, this is about uh, I, I was looking at the paper. Too. Paper, oh, okay, so so, so it's a contrast between uh, uh, ah, from uh, rapper four, eight and lower than oh, okay. uh, uh, yeah. oh, so uh, okay. these, these sentences, yeah, 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 that's, that's it. Oh. So, well, what, what I thought is that 11 is uh, well, uh, well, translation is okay there, but uh, if I put it like you know. But it, it never arrived at the post office. Awesome. We cannot do that, right? So I, I believe that this comment is not relevant to your main claim, but uh, mm -hmm. this is a small point. But I think, uh, well, it never arrived it too strong. Um, too strong. Oh, okay. okay. But in order to say that we sent something, mm -hmm. then that something must be arrived at the post office or um, somebody who is in charge of sending. I see. So in that sense, uh, there is no contrast like that. So that's my I see. minor comment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. I see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think things are complicated. Yeah. It is not only the minister commander. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, if I know what the question is, so, so uh, would you please explain in brief what's the difference between uh, the two constructions? They, why why are there two constructions in English? Are you in English? So yeah. Why why we have oh. the P O and B? Uh, yeah, 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 English speaking people. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No. No. Uh, we discussed with the uh, uh, Lamaka School in Pilgrama, and uh, maybe the attention, the attention is different. So, the MPO sentences, uh, the like uh, uh, the path of the path and move of the of the something is focused, and but uh, in the deal sentences, the uh, like uh, interaction is the focus of the sentence, like. Uh, uh, I I I sent a zoo Aurora. So in this case, I and zoo uh, should be interacted. But the, if if I uh, interpret the, the, this, the zoo is the like uh, some some people in the zoo that we can interpret this as a, a, a acceptable sentence. So we need interaction here. But in PO sentences, the, this interaction is. Uh, should not uh, should not be focused on the, just the move of the stuff or something. Yeah, so, I'll ask it as a question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, sorry, I'm coming. In, sorry, I'm coming in a bit late. I'm kind of dashing between teaching and trying to listen to some of this. Um, <laughs> Did, did did you did you uh, um I, I didn't hear all, all of your talk. Sorry. Um, but did you factor in uh the weight? Of the constituents, these indirect objects and direct objects, uh, in your uh, in your analysis, because I would think it, it, uh, an indirect object with with weight will favour the being uh, included as a preposition rather than being uh, immediately occurring after the 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 verb. T 
so typically the things occur after the verbs are pronouns of very light elements. So did you did you factor in weight considerations when you were thinking about the data? So there is a research uh, uh, which considers the uh, length of the noun phrase, right? Mm. And, but uh, in this experiment we, we did, uh, we have the same type of noun, so we didn't do that. We didn't think about the uh, weight or the length of the noun phrase. But the right, but, but, but the, the, the point is that the, 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 the PO um, construction will very much favor having a weighty, yeah. a weighty indirect object. Mm -hmm. And will be most comfortable when the indirect object is 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 a, a weighty noun phrase. Yeah, I, I think so. So if we add the the data with uh, lengthy noun phrases, then our results will be changed. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah.